Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to add fish to your tank so that we can start building up our biofilter. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some gravel to the bottom of the tank so that we can see our fish better and so that they have a place to lay their eggs once they get big enough. You can skip this step, but it's something that I personally like. The next thing that you're going to need is your fish net so we can get our fish from the original pond. We need a bucket so that we can take uh, water from the original pond that the fish are coming from and place them in here while we drip irrigate it. So I have this old airline that I'm going to siphon water from the tank that they're going to be going into slowly into this bucket so that they get acclimated over a period of about 30 minutes. And then we're going to scoop them up from here and then we're going to place them in this tank. So, depending on how much biomedia you put in your tank or in your biofilter, that's going to determine how much, how many fish that you're going to put in. You might want to consider how fish, how how big the fish are going to be once they're full size before you add them to the tank. So, I'm going to be adding about ten tilapia and maybe a few uh, sword tails that I have to do. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have some males and some females. So I'm going to probably do about seven males and three females. Before you start going after your fish, you might want to turn off all your pumps, that way the water is a bit more clear. You don't want to leave them in here for too long without aeration, so you want to get this done as quickly as possible. So for a few days I've been running this uh, the system on its own without anything in it just to make sure that there's no leaks and that everything is working properly. And the original water that I had in, had in here during construction, I took it all out and I replaced it with some fresh rain water. So it should be good to go. <clears throat> now you can test the quality of your water beforehand, but I'm pretty certain that my water is just fine, so we're going to give it a go. So we're going to take our airline here, we're going to put one end in the water and take this in and we're going to suck a little bit out so that it starts to vacuum. And as long as this is below the water level up here, it's going to keep on floating up. So as you can see, I only put it up to about four of the way from the original pond water. And now we're going to be slowly dripping this in here. In about 30 minutes, they should be okay. And then we're going to take them out using a net and then we're going to put them in the tank. So as we're waiting on them, I'm going to add my gravel. I'm just using an ordinary light colored gravel so that I can see my fish easier. Now I have rinsed this off beforehand and made sure that there's no dust or anything else like that on there. I don't completely cover the bottom, but I cover it just enough to add some color to the paint. So it's not completely covered, 
tricky, but it's just enough to get us some contrast. Just spread that out. And the fish will push it around is, and um, make little nesting areas inside of it and stuff and move it where they want to move it eventually. So just spread that out a little bit in there and you'll be okay. So it's been about 30 minutes since we started our drip irrigation and it's about over half full with our new tanks water. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab them out back into the net and we're going to transfer them because we don't want to put this water into this tank. Before fertilization or planting, you're going to want to wait about 30 days for your ammonia to turn to nitrites and your nitrites to turn to nitrates inside of your biofilter. If you have an existing biofilter, you can take some of the, the media from that and put it into your, your new biofilter. So that's it for this video. Be sure to watch the next one where I'm going to be teaching you how to cook your fish. Thank you so much for watching.